all verbs end in either AR, ER, or IR. Here are your regular AR verb endings. For the singular forms, yo ends in o. Tú, as, usted lea, a. And the plural endings, for we, amos. Vosotros, if you're in Spain, is ice. Ustedes, ellos, ellas, on. Your ER and IR verbs are almost exactly the same with only one exception. Yo o, tu es, usted el ella e, and here's your exception, nosotros. You have both hemos or imos. And ustedes, ellos, ellas, en. Practiquemos. Let's practice. Start with the infinitive and then drop the infinitive ending, the AR, the ER, or the IR. So you're left with the stem of the verb. Then according to the subject, add the letter or letters that you need to add. Like yo would be o. Yo always ends in o. Hablo. Como. Vivo. Tú. Tú always ends in a certain letter also, but you have a vowel first, so you're going to have either as or es. Hablas, comes, vives. But you always have the s with the tú form. El, for usted, el, ella, what's the rule? A or E. Habla, come, vive. Nosotros, for the we form, is the only time you're going to see all three vowels. It is also your longest verb ending for your longest pronoun, nosotros. Here you have hablamos. Comemos, and this is the only time you're going to be using the I in a verb ending, in the present tense anyway. Vivimos, hablamos, comemos, vivimos. And the other plural form that you need to worry about, ustedes, ellos, ellas, are going to have the N. They're always going to have the end. So you have hablan, comen, and viven. Remember, to use your regular verbs, first drop the infinitive ending, and then add the letter or letters you need depending on the subject of your sentence.